Did they really even make me to review? Hmm. Well, I guess. Here it is, guys. Alright, guys, so. As you heard from the intro, you already know what this is. Just wanted to show you guys. This is actually a black Nike slide in box. I guess this is what Nike is going to do with their special Air Max. At least a 90s rail. And this black box with the black gloss checks everywhere. This was something I noticed. Um, and then I know I have the undefeated box where it has the undefeated instead of Nike across. But this one has a Nike across, so not glad, guys. It's not even um, actually made by the creator who did it last time or he just gave his blessing on it but i don't think it really had anything to do or deal with him this time but they just feel like they want to release it so they asked but that's besides the point let's get the sneaker out the box hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is chaz jones and once again i want to give a special thank you to rico for letting me uh get a review in on these Thanks for hooking me up with these so I can get these in for review. But as I said, let's get to it. So as you can see, these are the shoes and it actually came with this. And I want to know if you guys know what it is. It is the Atom uh, Atomical Cal Arch Support. So if you guys know what it is or what it does, just let me know. Kind of interested in it. Oh, it might actually say on the back. Let me read it for you guys. Atomical arch support, the shape of the anatomical arch support is a result of extensive foot mor morphology studies conducted by Nike Sport Research Lab on thousands of runners. Its asymmetrical shape is designed to comfort to the contours of the foot, remove the protective paper from these adhesive strips and apply them to the strip to the arch support within the corresponding indentation. Attach the arch support to the underside of the sock liner, matching the position of the arch support to the shape of the indentation in the sock liner. So I guess this is supposed to be like on the, well for me it would be on the inner side of my foot and where the arch begins. Some people I know are flat footed, but I guess it's just to help them with um, the art support, which is kind of nice. Kind of nice that Nike is thinking about that. I wonder if they did that with the original ones. But that's inside this point. We're here for the shoes, and let's get them right here. So these are the Nike Air Max Bacon. Um, this is like a really classic silhouette. I remember, I think the first time I seen it was when back when Nike got into sneaking out um, into watching learning about sneakers and I was watching um these um uh, nice kicks channel with snakes peak sneak peek with George Hill. This like I remember seeing this model, I can't remember who had it, but it was really um a dose sneaker to me at the time. I remember just loving Air Max. I remember at the time when I first started I loved Air Max and I loved Dunks. I like Jordans. I you know I like Jordans. I like Nike. I love all these different silhouettes and everything. But this was one that stood out to me when I had seen it. If you guys can remember the episode, let me know because I actually want to go back and watch that. But besides the point, these are awesome shoes. I love them when I saw them. Let's get into them. So, to start off with, we got two brand new pairs of laces. We got pink and red. Um, and then you got the tan that's already in there. But if it were up to me, I'd either go with pink laces. Yeah, probably the pink laces or the tan. Um, I feel like it's enough red in the shoe to keep that itself. Yeah, this is this is definitely a nice shoe, and I really like this one. Um, so on the shoe, you can see that it has the brown uh, outsole. You can see that it has the brown quarter um, around the butt around the bubble or not quarter but the little around the bubble panel you guys know what i'm talking about tan around the midsole and then you also have the tan on the first part of suede going up from the midsole around the um brown air max part in that and i think that actually parts either caught the quarter or the mid paneling then you have the pink nike checks but you also get pink on the nike air on the back, you get pink on the tongue, 
and then you get um and that's about all the pink you get. You get another hit of um and you get the first hit of red, which is the majority of I wanna say part of the majority of the top, and that's all around the top part coming straight from around your where your ankle kind of right after your ankle starts all the way to the toe and all the way back wrapped around on the other side. Then you also get the white leather and it's pretty it's pretty plush I actually like that part of it. Um they've been doing pretty good quality with that. The top part though is plush but it's sort of more stiff. I think so it can say more structured. Then you have these nice insides which is real which is tan and those are like a it feels like a premium type of leather. Um just to just keep the shoe nice. This is really, really nice. Nike will tell you. I can see it aging really well. Then you have on the inside of the shoe, it says Nike Air in pink, and then it's red on the inside. And if uh, and then, you, like I said, you have the tan laces to circle it all about. Like I said, if you guys um, like bacon, you can see where they pretty much drew the inspiration from. Rumor has it is that the creator, when he was making this colorway and everything he was not taking it seriously and he had just thought um thought he waited till last moment and he had thought of just making the shoe out the bacon thought it would be kind of funny and yeah but from what i've researched and have heard from other people the air mass bacon wasn't that big of a shoe at first it got bigger later, but it wasn't that big of a shoe at first. And then when by the time I found about it out about it and I know a couple years after, the shoe really gained its popularity and its price point just skyrocketed. So there was no way I was gonna be able to get them, especially me as a kid trying to first get into the sneaker game. But these are really dope. Um I wanna know what shoes that happened to you guys with. Um what shoes um, really stood out to you when you first got into the sneaker game and you knew you probably couldn't get it because uh, if you just get into the sneaker game not having much money it's just not going to happen but no uh, but this is what it means to me I think it means to me it's it's a classic classic colorway it gives off that classic feel and it stands out but it doesn't I don't know if that sounds right but to me that's that's really really a dope feature of this shoe and I feel like this is gonna be a classic shoe to get out I, I wish I could have got it I we tried <laughs> I was on the road actually and um my fiance tried to get it while I was driving and in there to draw couldn't get it but oh <laughs> that's another thing my friends found shocking is that I have never hit from Nike sneakers that that's another story for another day Hopefully I do sooner or later, but hey, I'll get my shoes one way or another. Um, but I'm going to give this shoe a five stars because the shoe was super hyped up. The shoe did what it was supposed to do. It sold out and it was a draw, so I don't know how fast it would have sold out otherwise, but I'm pretty sure it would have sold out instantly. Um, it's bringing back a classic feel without ruining it to me. It's um, got all good materials like these materials i could see aging really really well like this from the suede on the red to the little suede on the um on the tan this is this is a really dope quality really hyped up it's a must-have sneaker i just don't got it <laughs> but uh no this is this is really a dope sneaker i love it um it's getting five stars just this guys but thank you guys for watching um I will be seeing you guys in the next video, and let me know what you guys think of the sneakers. Let me uh, know what you guys think of this video, and be sure to watch another video. Just go watch another video. I got plenty of things for you. I got videos about Asics. I got videos about Jordans. I got videos about Nike. I got videos about Adidas. I got videos just about and Pumas. I got videos just about on every shoe brand that you could think of that you guys will want to see in the sticker community right now. But I want to thank you again for watching. My name is Chaz Jones. And make sure you guys follow me. Make sure you guys follow me on my Instagram. Chaz S. Jones Kicks. Um, and then follow me on Twitter at Samurai 
underscore underscore Johns. And I want to thank you guys again for watching. And you guys have a blessed day. And I will see you next time. Peace.